The American sixth-generation fighter evokes a number of associations that depend on the profession of the observer. For example, constructors and designers see the perfection of forms in it. Military pilots pay attention to flight performance. The potential adversary is looking for flaws. And only extraordinary and advanced people look at the new fighter created under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program as the brainchild of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Make yourself comfortable. Now you will find out how the developers managed to create an ultra-complex aircraft in the shortest time possible. You will also find out what the NGAD fighter is capable of. Air Force Secret New Fighter Jet and the Fourth Industrial Revolution Over the past two and a half centuries, the world has gone through three industrial revolutions. Each of them radically changed society and people's lives. During the first, factories appeared, creating a huge number of jobs. The second gave people electricity, comfort, and mass production. The third, digital, opened the world to artificial intelligence and with it, access to all available information and new discoveries. Will Roper himself, an American physicist and strategist for U.S. foreign policy, as well as a procurement assistant to the U.S. Air Force Secretary, called the creation of the new fighter magic. Obviously, Mr. Roper simply did not want to disclose the details of the development, so he was ready in advance for criticism for the word magic in the context of serious weapons. Indeed, it took NGAD developers only one year to finalize the fighter. This is real magic. To understand its scale, recall that a few years ago, it took 10 years to complete the F-35 fighter. It took 10 years to make sure the F-35 was capable of something. The Chinese Chengdu J-20 fighter also took years of labor. The J-20 appeared in 2011 after over 10 years of development. The Russian Su-57 fighter has not yet been brought to serial production, but its launch was announced back in 2010. That is, the effectiveness of the NGAT program turned out to be 10 times higher than before. Phenomenal. According to the U.S. Air Force, this is an industry record. Let's add that we need to get used to such records. The world has changed, and the new American fighter jet has become a symbol of that change. Although the course of the next generation air dominance program and the technical details of the new aircraft are highly classified, we know that the technological breakthrough is due to digital engineering and artificial intelligence. The value of artificial intelligence can even be put first. And on the second, virtual reality. Artificial intelligence is increasingly surpassing humans, even in areas where it was previously considered impossible to use machines. AI has long been beating professionals in chess, poker, and even Go. On the military front, the Air Combat Evolution ACE program system, for example, outperformed a real U.S. Air Force instructor pilot in virtual combat. The conditions of the battle completely simulated the real situation. Virtual reality not only becomes a part of our life, but also changes it. It is not for nothing that computer games become the object of industrial espionage. For example, the Russian concern Kalashnikov stole the design of a virtual shotgun from the shooter game Oceanic which was developed by Studio Ward B. Based on the virtual weapon, Kalashnikov released the real MP-155 Ultima shotgun. So, the AI was engaged in the design of the sixth generation fighter. The aircraft were tested in a digital space that simulates real operating conditions. That is, before creating the plane for real, a virtual model was first created, which was tested in virtual space. This approach allowed the development of a parallel fighter for the Navy and Air Force. Previously, this was impossible even to imagine because it was very expensive and very unsafe. Let us recall that the list of combat missions for Naval and Air Force fighters is different. Aircraft have different requirements. Tests in the digital space made it possible to create two aircraft with different characteristics at once. At the same time, the designers did not have to find a compromise between the characteristics for the fleet and for the Air Force versions. Stealth is one of the main characteristics of the sixth generation fighter. AI proposed an NGAD design based on stealth technology from Northrop Grumman, which at one time created the B-2 bomber. Therefore, the profile and outlines of the new fighter strongly resemble the legendary spirit. 
In essence, we're talking about the flying wing aerodynamic design. Founder John Knudsen, Jack Northrup, had this idea throughout his career. Mr. Northrup never saw the first flight of the B-2. After all, he did not have artificial intelligence. Let's continue. The air intake of the engine of the NGAD fighter are located above the wing of the aircraft. This configuration improves stealth performance. The exhaust nozzle of the two engines are also recessed. The air jets of the engines are shielded, which means that radar will not detect infrared exhaust in non-afterburner flight. The effective scattering area of NGAD is not worse than that of B-2. One of the tasks of the NGAD is to escort bombers on long-range missions. This means that the flight range should not be inferior to the characteristics of strategic bombers. At the same time, the developers say that the maximum speed of the new fighter will exceed Mach 5. Efficiency in all flight modes, from subsonic speed to hypersonic and unmanned flight, is another feature of NGAD. In subsonic unmanned cruising mode, the flight duration will be up to 50 hours. At supersonic cruise, the combat radius will be about 1,000 miles. However, range and supersonic speed are mutually exclusive concepts. Never before have engineers been able to achieve outstanding range and supersonic speed at the same time in a single aircraft. AI managed to solve this problem by transforming the design of the NGAD fighter. For example, folding vertical stabilizers increase the aircraft's range and stealth. And when the fighter needs to actively maneuver, the stabilizers unfold. The inner space of NGAD is also optimized. The free space can be used for placing fuel tanks or weapons. The configuration of a particular NGAD fighter depends on the combat mission. Thanks to software simulation and virtual testing, NGAD designers no longer need to build prototypes and carry out hundreds of test flights in order to identify design flaws or a specific configuration through trial and error. It is enough to set the conditions, and the AI will conduct flight tests virtually. Based on this information, it can be argued that each NGAD unit will have unique individual abilities and capabilities. The Air Force Command will be able to choose a fighter for a specific combat operation. AI is the talent and knowledge of all engineers and designers in the world who have ever worked on this planet. AI is data about all new materials and their properties and characteristics in a variety of environments. And this data is constantly updated. IDC estimates that from 2018 to 2025, human-generated data will grow from 33 zettabytes to 175 zettabytes. Recall that one zettabyte equals one billion terabytes. No one person is capable of covering such a volume. Therefore, AI is constantly evolving or getting smarter in human terms. But the role of AI does not end with design and testing. AI is capable of simulating and analyzing a million options for warfare. In addition, the AI simulates the options of the interaction of battle groups. Each element of the group is connected to a single information space, receives and sends data about the current combat situation. It's like the Internet of Things, only in the context of weapons. The number of elements in the battle group is unlimited. Such a group may include other fighters, radar reconnaissance aircraft, strike drones, cover drones, etc. They all interact in a single information environment. The exchange of data is so fast that no colonel or general is capable of making adequate decisions in such an environment. Therefore, this problem is solved by AI. Finally, we come to the human factor. As you know, a person is unpredictable in a critical situation. This is the flip side of human creativity. It looks like creativity is the only place where AI lags behind. However, there is also a breakthrough in technology. AI is capable of simulating a digital twin. This is already a reality. That is, each NGAD pilot will receive his digital copy. Each time the pilot is scanned, his digital twin will be updated. Thanks to this, the AI will be able to select performers for a specific mission and predict the actions of a specific pilot. Moreover, the AI will be able to assemble the configuration of the aircraft for a specific pilot. Not only the pilot, but also the general or colonel in command of the operation will be able to get a digital twin. When the cost of a mistake is high, testing the ability to act in uncertain conditions is required. This can be done in virtual labs for decision-making. 
AI will simulate the desired reality with all the uncertainties and contradictions and analyze the decisions of the commander and the actions of the executors. In simulated realities, there can be no single correct decision because any decision has a cost and negative consequences. But the human factor, which can aggravate the situation, will be minimized. Action in a critical situation is no longer a biological issue, but a purely technological one. What's next? The Fourth Industrial Revolution is not only about NGAD and other weapons. The Fourth Industrial Revolution brings changes in all areas of human life. The world is becoming connected. AI, neural networks, and technology have changed the paradigm of war. Our world is becoming more and more non-biological. The non-biological component will soon prevail. The non-biological and mechanical part will be so powerful that it will be able to fully model and understand the biological part, which will eventually lose its meaning. What should we humans do? The fourth industrial revolution will change society. The routine will be replaced by opportunities for self-development and taking care of your own health. Eventually, people will have more time to watch our channel's videos, but promise, only after your morning run. Agree, such a life is much more interesting than endless meetings in the office.